Welcome to another video, this one has been sped up a little due to the lengthy process of the project. We are going to turn this image of Wembley Stadium into a layered SVG design to cut out on a laser or cutting machine. As you can see from the prepared one it's four layers. I won't be drawing the pitch but we'll have a link to it in the description. I have already got the stadium from an internet search and loaded it in, then sized for my canvas. To find these just search the internet for Wembley seating plan, or your chosen stadium. Let's start. First select the rectangle tool by pressing M on your keyboard, make it the same size as your canvas, this helps if anything goes out of position later. Also make sure the image is on its own layer and locked. I like to round my edges. Now select the ellipse tool by pressing L on the keyboard, drag a rough shape around the outside of your stadium. Select the node tool by pressing A on the keyboard, edit the anchors and handles to match the outer edge of the stadium. If you are unsure how to do this I have a tutorial on working with shapes and a pen tool lesson. Now select the pen tool, this is P on the keyboard. We are going to draw where our layer will be for our cut layers, this will help also with the next steps. The next layer we can do using the ellipse tool and editing the nodes again. Now select the three lines, and change the color, we then want to copy and paste in place and group them. Next from the layer panel turn off the visibility of one group.
Now change the color and increase the stoke width. Mime is set to 2 mm. This is around the 6 point mark. Now is the longest part. Draw lines for each section of seating. Make sure it's the same stroke as before. I will speed the video up for this bit. You can copy the line by holding Alt and click dragging the mouse. It is a bit of a process but I find it gets the cleanest results, so much better than trying to trace the image. The whole process takes me now around 40 minutes. Now match the inside of the stadium, a edited rectangle I found works best here. Clean up any overlapping lines, this will save time after the next step. Select the whole design other than the outside one, then we are going to expand the strokes, to do this go to the top menu, click object then expand. Now unite, merge or weld depending on your software. This makes the whole thing one shape. Next make it all a stroke.
and release the compound path. In the layers panel, turn back on our red lines from earlier. Select all the design, this is where we will separate it all into layers, copy and paste it and move it to the side. Ungroup the red lines. We are looking to delete all the middle section. This will make our top layer. You don't need the outer lines so you can delete them. Group this layer, then copy and paste the whole thing again to make the next layer. If it's grouped together, ungroup it. For this one we are going to delete the outer and inner seating areas to make the third layer. We don't need the outer red line so we can also delete this. Be careful what you select, you don't want to delete some wrong bits, if you do, just undo like I did here. Select and group it all, this is now our third layer. Select the design again and copy and paste to make our next layer. Ungroup any grouped parts, then start to delete everything on the outer two layers, this layer will make our second layer with the first set of seating. We don't need the outer red line on this layer, so it can be deleted. We need the inside line though, so select it, and make it red. We also have a little to tidy up, a few extra boxes were made in our conversion process we need to remove. With it completed, now select and group it all, now we just need to make our base layer. Take the pitch and place it in the design. Position it so it looks centered. All we need for this layer is the pitch and the main outer line of the design, with the pitch selected shift click the outside red line to have both selected. Now drag it out so you can see it. Here it was still grouped with the other red lines from earlier, so ungroup it, delete the unwanted lines, then, select it all and group the final layer. If you select all four layers and center a line, it should all sit perfectly together like mine. There you go, a four-layered stadium designed by yourself, this method can be applied to any stadium seating plan and in most graphic design softwares. If you want to customize it more, you can make the seating area engraved by filling the sections, this can be done here or just by setting the black line to fill in light burn. Thanks for watching my video, I hope it has helped. 
you can help me too by liking and subscribing to my channel, this will also let you know when I upload a new project or lesson.